Hello everyone! Welcome back for some more Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet. We are in the snowy, snowy winter wonderland, which is funny because it actually snowed here today. And I didn't enjoy that, but it was something I had to deal with. Uh, we're going to put away your lucky egg, and I think you actually need it for a bit to get a bit more bit more levels here. Just to, just to get you evened out. We can give you a never melt ice. Uh, we can do that for you. Just something to increase your, uh, your fighting capability here. I don't think we have any... I mean, I could also give the muscle band. But never melt ice is probably stronger in general. Um, and as for a little guy down there... We could give the covert cloak just to do something different, right? Just to, like give something for him, right? Plus the idea of putting this big dumb cloak on this car? Well, that's just downright comedic. That's hilarious. Someone's going to see this little car engine covered with a thing and be like, that's going to cause an explosion. Like, what are you doing? And we're all going to we're all going to laugh and it's going to be a great time. Anyways, uh, we have a gym challenge to do. Which uh, is the last gym. The final one. I feel like there will be rap involved. And I'm kind of terrified. Yo, look at this just dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at this. Anyways, hello. Uh, electric terrain? Not bad, not bad. Okay, I'm slightly terrified for having to rap if we have to do that rhyme. Seen one of Ryan's concerts where music shakes you right down to your soul? The stage lights up purple for the gym test. It's so pretty. Are we going to be... Well, one. I want to try something. Can we, like... No. Can't climb just any wall. It has to be terrain. Um, are, are we going to be... Doing rap battles for the gym test? Oh, hi. Tanner. It's finding time for your last gym, right? I heard from Rika. But I'm 0% worried about you. I know you got this. Even La Primera seems she wants to keep an eye on you. Maybe go find her so we can cheer you on together when we battle the gym leader. So go have a battle that's fruitful for you and for the crowd. I was going to say, you're not going to battle me again right away. That'd be too soon. It's nice and warm inside the gym. I wonder if there's any of Rhymes magazines. Uh, specialize in ghost type. You won't get anywhere if you use normal or fighting. Well, what if it's a ghost fighting? Also, Dreepies! Look at the little guys! Look at the little fellas! Look at him! Why is that a Dreepy? Uh, if you haven't, please go watch the, um, Pokey Tune of, uh, I Turn Into a Gengar. It's really good. Welcome to the Monte Nevera Gym. Let me register as a challenger. Your name is Tanner, yes? How sick are your beats? I'm like, I mean, they're fine. I can turn them into a mean borscht. Hey, hey! Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Ron, you'll need to pass the gym test. Here at Monte Nevera Gym, that means warming up the audience for the main event. That's right, you're the opening- Oh my god, we're gonna have to rap. Your job's get on stage. Okay, god, we're- Oh, thank god we're doing Pokemon battles. Oh, if you made me rap, I would be run out of town. Show us some dead fierce Pokemon battles, get the crowd excited before the gym's concert begins. You can start the gym test by speaking with MC Sledge in front of the stage outside. Oh my god. This... might be a... problem. I'm terrified to read the dialogue. Oh! Critical? Are you MC Sledge? Yo, Tanner. Trainer, rather. You are the one uh, performing the opening act today. My name's MC Sledge. This is the stage right here. So here's the deal. We're gonna have you do some double battle. Oh, cool. It's where you have two Pokemon fight on each side. That would let- Oh, my man. Yo, the critical motion. Critical Shoryuken, Crit Ryuken, let's go. Uh, that let uh, that let you sledge up double the opponents to get the audience twice as excited. The venue will be hot, so it'll melt Monte Nevera and snow. Once you get the audience worked up and ready to go, that'll be the cue for the leader to take the stage as you jump past the gym test, yo. Okay, well, let me actually get my team ready. The opening act begins as soon as you get up on stage. There's no backing down until you win three times in a row, so make sure you're ready. Good on the deets, ready to sledge them up? No. Not yet. 
I feel you. Opening for rhyme. There's no easy test. Make sure you're ready before we start. Yeah, I need to actually then think about my second. Um, so let's see here. No, no, no. Um, well, not bad. Oh, dark type. Yeah, that works. So let's go to change position with you. How is your attack now? That is a lot of attack, actually. In fact, it's more than you, which is surprising. Your attack is pretty good there, too. Actually, no, your attack is lowered and your special defense is higher. Interesting. Your attack is pretty high. Your special attack is high. And you transform, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Alright, so yeah, we should be good now, though. And you know what? If we're doing this, we could probably put this away now, because honestly, you're not going to be... You're not going to be needing it too much. Um, I think at this point, you're pretty much set. So we'll also give you a muscle band. Just honestly, like, attack up. That's all you need. Prevents the use of status moves. I mean, special defense up wouldn't be bad, but it's not something we need. Um, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to... Uh, I think we're good. All right, you're good in the deets. Let's go. Sweet, just play it by ear, you'll do great. Head up on stage. I'm actually happy we're doing double battles. It's like... Been a hot minute. Look at the little... Look at the little... The gravestones that are definitely not Pokemon. Warm up the audience. What's up, Monta Nevera? Today's opening act will be three back-to-back -back double battles by our challenger here, Tanner. And the first of the three opponents will be a young performer make it look like a breeze. I'm a child. Oh, I'm a little German child with the little leader hosen. You won the only task. Double battles, that means one plus one, right? Can you do math? Oh, nothing says hip hop than a child named Tool Assisted Speedrun. All right. Yo, we got actual, like, camera angles. Uh, let's just... Yeah. Yo, this 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 beat's kind of fat, yo. I'm sorry. Also, looking at these levels... Is this the levels that we're at? Because if so, we could have come here a lot earlier. Nice. Yo. Charlie's rocking it. Okay. Oh, oh my god! One plus one is two, right? Right? Yes, tiny German child. Oh my god! Isn't training fighting? Why is it another child? I'd say like, oh, that pop in, but no, it's meant to be them, like, uh, arriving. Monavera never stage on latest tech. The more excited the audience gets, the more the stage will light up. Keep on sledging, you got this. Oh, you healed me too? And our challenger's next opponent will be a musician with a bit of a unique style. It's Lanny. Hi, Lanny. Strong compliments, we the harmony of two Pokemon battling in unison. Why were you looking up there? Well, yeehaw, howdy, y'all. Alright, Haunter and Mistrevis. Okay. God, I just the fact that they're just so stanced up is so funny each time. They're just like, let's go, I'm gonna beat you up. Yeah, we're gonna absolutely just sweep this gym, huh? Decent experience too. Not amazing, but decent. Okay. Okay, Lanny's been defeated. Oh, that wasn't Harmony, it was Cacophony. Your hair is clipping through your face. Yeah, we got Floor now. We got some Snoms. I'm just getting really excited. This music is really good, actually. Your opening exact turn the cheering and stage up to 11. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> What a surprise from a new challenger. Who'd have thought they'd sludged up this much? 
Next is your last opponent, it's none other than me! I was joking, but it is. MC Sledge, let's do this. I'm gonna turn you into an 11 minute video that's super monetized. Being MC is my only four day I can battle too, I'll sledge you up real good in a double battle. Alright, here I go. Sableye, Oh, Sableye might be a problem. Sableye might be a problem. Um, because you're only effective on it. So, you know, we'll have you use that. And, oh wait, oh right, because the whole no weakness thing got removed when uh, they added in fairy type. Never mind. Forgot about that. Yo, listen to that horn. It's kind of rocking. I stand by, like, the soundtrack for this has been so good. Yeah, I knew Aftermath would hurt him a bit. But I didn't think it'd be that much, so. Plus, you're gonna heal me again, right? Oh, that was kind of cringe. It was you who sledged me up. Alright, let's see. Alright, alright, yeah, that's 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 all lit up. Look at the snum! Uh, his excitement has reached a fever pitch, which is, again, a phrase that I've only ever seen used in Pokemon. It's used a lot, but it's only ever used in Pokemon. Why do they keep using that phrase? It's gotta be a meme at this point. Awesome, that was a great battle. How lucky, that was a rare sight. Thank you, Tanner. Congratulations, you passed the gym test. Give me a round of applause, everybody. Cool. They hooping and hollering. I feel a scary good sense of unity in the crowd. Perfecto. We're gonna go, uh, ready to go for the main event. Come on, everybody, say it with me. This is what you've all been waiting for. Give it up for the MC of R.I.P. Rhyme. This was not what I, you know, when I heard that in the book, I didn't think it'd be you. I thought it would be... Are they saying that, her name in Japanese? Sounds like it. Oh, boy. What's all this noise I'm hearing? I'm not doing a voice. I'm not doing a voice. I'll get completely hyper-canceled. It's not happening. This crowd's so loud it could wake the dead. Let me tell you what I want to hear. Y'all feeling good? Yeah, we're feeling good. Rhyme, 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 woo. I'm not doing it. Thanks for the killer opening, baby. Now we'll get this started for real. I'll say it. I'm shocked that it's an old woman rapper. That's more diversity point things than I would have ever expected from Pokemon. Oh. I guess we're not battling. Congrats on the gym test. That was sick, yo. Thanks. Oh. We gotta let her do her concert. Right. Give us a minute for some rhyme time, you feel me? Go ahead and tell the lobby staff you finished. So she's just rocking out. I need to throw I'll go talk to the staffer. You know what? At least they're not making me actually rap. Also, at least I didn't write rap, because I don't I don't trust the Pokemon company to write. I don't trust Game Freak to write rap. I really don't. Like doing doing a little bit of uh the Beatles with uh, you know, peers, sure. That's fine. Hard Rock Beatles, sure. Rap? Hmm, I don't know yet. Yo, yo. Sounds like there might be a... That's a screenshot I never expected to see. Oh, no. Alright, I gotta give it a try. This is my time and this is my day. You're not gonna stand in my way. Listen up, Ryan, your reign ends here. You're gonna get rung up by this pro cashier. Frick. Boom ch boom boom ch boom. Pro cashier? Well, I'm about to check out. Must have got your rhymes on deep discount. Please, think you can step up to my game? Fool, I got rhyme right there in my name, even though it's spelled a bit different, but don't you worry, because my fat beats will make you a slurry. I'm a specter from which there's no protector and victory under me will you will render when the crowd sees you're a mere pretender. 
That's a class in FGO, though not in the US server, you know? You wanna end my reign? Yeah, keep dreaming. Buy a book of rhymes, kid, and start reading. Boom cha boom. Boom cha boom. I'm done, you run won my rhymes totally whiffed, but I'll be back maybe after my next shift. Hold up, where are you going? That's oh she's mad. After my shift, seriously bars over jokes. Come on. <laughs> oh she's Oh my god, are we gonna have to go up and try? No. I was over way too fast. It gets boring wearing the crown if no one wants to f fight to keep it. Oh no. Oh no. No, why would I do this? No, I'm getting secondhand embarrassment just imagining me going up on stage and trying to rap battle right now. I'm going to die. Hey, my opener's back. You came here for a rap battle or a gym battle. Let's give it a shot. Hey, you got jokes. We know. We both know why you're really here. Oh boy. You were captivated by the show I put on, huh? I rap what's in my soul, baby, weaving words into a symphony of poetry. Don't try it with me, you won't last one round. I'm like a saber line, my mean look will lock you down. I was gonna okay, I was gonna I was gonna call you out. Because mean look isn't an attack that hurts, but it does lock them. So you know what? Okay. I thought if it said knock you down, I would have I would have been like, that's it, you're out. But like that, you feel me? No. Well, huh, well, let's get to it. <laughs> She's like, oh, oh, you're not feeling this? Okay, let's do it. Okay, yeah, you're a Pokemon trainer, so battle me and show me who you are. My music's not that, uh, not all that tops the charts. My skills with ghost types are the best around. Lest you forget, the name is Rhyme, and I'm the MC of R.I.P. Dead or alive, let's make this a vibe. Oh, her writing's actually kind of good. Oh my god, the way she picked up the mic was kind of sick, too. They went way harder with this than I expected. And this is a double battle, too? Cool. We don't mess around in Monte Nevera. On my stage, we double battle. Don't let it scare ya. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, like I said, I'm not doing a voice because that would be a problem. Uh, let's do... I mean, we're gonna have to try and get rid of Mimikyu here, but we probably won't be able to. Show us an awesome battle rhyme and YouTube, whoever you are. Alright. Shadow Sneak, well, you're gonna get a couple hits in. That's not gonna do much damage. That will. Nice. God, I need an ability patch, though, for my... my kitty cat. I also like how when you're when it's like this, it'll continue the battle, yeah, and then and blop. Whoa! You okay, bud? It kinda popped back up there for a sec. So here's Houndstone. Nice, you totally nailed Pokemon's weakness of batting an eye. Yeah, I'm on the last gym, I better. Like at this point I better. Why'd my attack raise? Why were my stats going up? Oh, Oh, because the audience is cheering for us? That's a fun gimmick. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. We need the most damage possible on you and... Actually, wait, because this will do 95, the higher the attack. So you know what? Let's actually go... You could probably Raging Fist to kill you. And then Foul Play, you probably have pretty high attack. So let's do this. Shadow Sneak. Yeah, it's going to hurt a bit again. But Rage Fist will deal even more now, so thank you. Nice. He, even the dog's like, Oh, how did that happen? I can't believe you hit me. Rage Fist with the super effective stab and the boost and the muscle band. I like numbers. I like numbers. The number game is a good game. I hate numbers, actually, but... Your youthful power is a real threat, but the party's still going. I haven't lost yet. Oh, God, I'm, I'm, I'm adding more and more fat rhymes to it. Yeah, it's Toxtricity. That's good. One of Rhyme's Pokemon went down. Woo, this is exciting. Are we cheering? Okay. I mean, it's hyper unbalanced, this one, because you get so many boosts. But it's pretty cool. So you're gonna you're gonna do some some stuff there. And uh We'll just do another foul play, because you're gonna turn it ghost, right? 
kick back, relax, and enjoy this last track. Turn it up for a grave rattling good time. Rattle me bones! Oh, that's good. I was gonna say, I'm like, those are a bunch of a bunch of them, isn't it? Can you imagine if a bunch of good good boys just appeared? <gasps> look at him! Oh my god, look at him! Let him go! When I'm the mic, even when I'm on the mic, even the dead rise up, DJ G D Whoa! DJ G Rave over there sure feeling it. That's a good name for a dog. DJ Grave for a dog, I love it. Watch her not change it to like ghost type. That would be wild, but no, she, she did. It'd also be cool if depending on the version you're playing, it's a different, you know, toxicity type. It would, it's not, but anyways, bye. Every time the hype, it's funny because like, this was easier than the last gym. And the gym before that, I think we went in the super wrong order. Which is fine. Oh, giving up the ghost not really my style. I'll let you have this one though, baby. Okay, I kind of like her a lot. She's kind of really awesome. Great battle, thrilling and chilling. You got spirit, kid. You've earned my gym badge, all right? How about a VIP pass for my next show, too? It's like, sorry, I only listen to video game OSTs. Okay, the selfie in the audience, though, that's pretty strong. That's 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 fun. I like that. With a gym badge, you'll be able to catch Pokemon of any level. And they'll be sure to listen to what you have to say, too. I'm feeling so good. I think I'm going to let you have this. Shadow Ball. Nice. That's good. I don't use uh, special attacks, really, but... Too bad it's over. Make your way back to my stage sometime. Maybe next time we wrap battle and set- No, I'd lose. I'm sure you got some scary good adventures ahead. I'll be cheering for you later. Yeah, I'm not rap battling. I don't dance. And I don't rap. It's the two things I don't do. For the sake of everyone. Wow, you just- She just instant transmission. Did you see that? She is Goku. Tanner Annihilate. I love how it's Annihilate. It stopped being my, it stopped being my starter, and it's just like, yeah, you, you, your starter was your, your bank here. It's like, no, you did it. I'm so happy for you. This is the best. I know I said I wasn't worried, but my heart was still pounding the whole time. Most impressive, Tanner. A shining display of talent, I must admit. Seriously, pat yourself on the back. You beat every single gym, which means, indeed. Now that you've gathered eight gym badges, all that's left is to take on the Pokemon League. If you hope to stand alongside Nimona as a fellow champion, head to the Pokemon League. This is, uh, that is where you can take on the champion assessment. Yeah, I don't know where that is. Yeah, hurry up and get to my rank. I'm itching for a battle of equals. I'm gonna take my time. I'm, I'm gotta take the time while you're facing the Pokemon League to fine tune my Pokemon's moves and revamp all my tactics. Well, good luck, Tanner, and wish me luck, too. It's unusual to see her so excited, though perhaps not for you. She must be really happy that she finally has a friend who can keep pace with her own talents. There's a special kind of strength that can only be reached by competing with a good rival. Count me among those eager to see how far you two go. In any case, I'll be waiting for you at the Pokemon League, Northwest of Mesa Goza. I bet you you need the ability to climb walls to get there. Like, unequivocally. Un ooh. Un I'm not even going to try that word again. Nope. For sure. Let's go with that one. Um, because then that's the only way that you'd be able to, you know, know that you're strong enough to get up there. So, oh, there's an outbreak of you guys. That's not bad. That's not bad. So we do have you as well. Fairy. The Rushba. Hmm. Oh my god, are you serious? We could have got a shiny of the one. Well, I mean, it's better that we got the regular. Um, anything else? Okay, not bad, not bad. Um, ooh, interesting. So, I say let's go and finish this up right now. Set that as our destination, and we'll start from here. All these random spots you can fly from. Now, as for Pokemon that will be good, I mean, we have our shiny boy, but, like, you're bad against it. You're bad. Right? Aren't these guys all kind of terrible? We might have to be creative. Might have to be really creative. Um, Barry might be actually really tough for us. So we might have to play around with with some of these guys. Like you're gonna be you're gonna be our lead for sure. 
because you, you you might be able to just completely rock the team, right? Hmm. Let's start with this. Heal up. Mainly for the PP. I just said mainly for the PP, which is really funny, and I didn't laugh, so it's proof that I'm growing up, right? I mean, but then would me bringing that up be proof that I am not mature? These are the questions I think about. Where is this little, little lad? Little lad. There's a little lad. Nice. Okay, so we're heading this way. Well, now we can climb up though. So let's let's go maybe on a little event, uh, aventura. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are those? Oh, they're it's a big boy. It's a big boy. Um, yeah. Also, we should probably do some battles to ensure we're staying leveled up. Uh, that's right, I'm totally lost. <laughs> hey, that's fair. Valeria. Valeria. Taurus. Oh, that's the water type. Cool, actually. We get to see that. So, you know what? Uh, this might be a good chance to... Let's shift gear and then spin out... We'll try. We'll try that. We're also, like, super powerful, so we should be able to kill him regardless. So, shift gear does speed up. Attack up, and then we'll try spin out here. Big tears, that's gonna reduce attack. Special defense, okay, that doesn't matter right now for us. Let's try spin out. That's a cool looking move. Let's get it in speed go down, but that's fine because damage is. Wow! You actually got me! Dang, you actually got me! Huh. In fact, I bet you... I bet you it's another one. No, it can't be. So we're still faster. Spin out's pretty powerful, huh? The idea of, like, you shift a gear and then you can spin out with it, that's pretty fun. Now it's Taurus. Okay. In that case, let's go with you, because then you can do Psychic, because you are water fighting. I'm going to need to go into my friend's game and catch a special Taurus, I guess. Also, look up the colors for the shiny Taurus of both of them. It's rough. You're not going to find it. It's rough. Why would they do that? It's just like, it's like if that's a gray slate black, a shiny is pure black. And, like, if it's night, you're not finding it. Just ain't happening. Alright. You don't know? Yeah, I did. I'm looking... Hi, Snover. I'm looking around. I'm exploring. Oh my god, this is so nice. Oh my god, oh my god, this is... I can't believe we had to work for this, and now we got it. This is good. What's in the water? Is that... Oh, wait, didn't we run into this before? Yeah, it's Veluza. Okay, so let's go... Whoa! Hello! Did not mean to run into you. Didn't even know that that was you gonna be there. We already caught you, didn't it? Yeah, it's normal type Veluza. He's like, I'm the king! Look at me! Ho ho! I'm breaking the mold! Even a fish can be king! Sorry, buddy. We do not need to catch you. We already caught you. We already caught your brother, who is of the same type. So, is this just gonna lead up to... where we were? Or is this gonna be somewhere new? Baton Pass? Nice. Got a Frost Slash there. Let's see here. No, not here. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What is that? Oh frick, wait. Are you kidding me? We, we were right here this whole time. Oh my god, we're going the super wrong d Oh, okay, I thought this was somewhere else. Okay. That's fine. Dark-type Makuhita. It was worth it to see you, I guess. 
That was mad embarrassing. Did we fight Glaceon yet? I don't think we did. Yes, we did. Well, kill it anyways. Alright, let's go. Got some levels. Get a Bronzor. So yeah, the new area we're going to is like down there. Oh, I heard him. Is he in like a cave here? There he is! Come on. Two? Okay. Whenever there's a large group, I'm like, I would just want to look carefully. I won't know at a glance if it's one of the new guys, so I gotta I gotta actually look carefully. I wish you could then press the button to like start gliding again. That'd be like hyper broken, so I get it. I get it. What's that? Oh. Well, we've already trained up our lad, so I'm not going to be getting a new one. We can... Since he's already so, like, stat-trained, if anything in the future, I'm just going to give him a new typing with, uh, with the stuff. Although, as for what type it is, I might... Like, I could go pure... I don't know. I don't know, actually. I understand. What do you understand, dude? Understand, here in this freezing land, I've finally come to a great truth. This might be one of the least Ryu-looking black belts. They really stepped away from that, huh? Anyways, speaking of stepping away, you're gonna step away from your life considering you are Steel-type. Sorry, bud. You're getting ripperonied right here. Goodbye. It was so powerful, the Pokémon literally steams afterwards. Good, 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 good. Yes, you've made me understand it all too well. Alright, so... Let's hit up the Pokemon Center here. The trainer... Okay. Alright. We have gotten this area. We don't actually need to use it. Gold ducks. Guard specs. The final Rotototo for a while, probably. I see you're at the fifth base. Hold up inside there is Team Star's last remaining squad. You fought well to make it this far. Thank you, Tanner. Tanner. Cassio oh, Tanner. Cassiopeia. So you made it as well, Clive. Of course. It's the last base. I wouldn't want to miss out on the action. Clive, I owe my thanks. Your help's been invaluable to the operation. I'm sorry I was wary of you at first, so it's absolutely Penny, by the way. Well, that's all water under the bridge. When we're finished with the base, that this will be the end of Operation Starfall, then? Not quite. We'll still need to handle Team Starfall's secret mastermind last of all. Do you have any leads on how to find them? I'm hoping they'll come out into the open once all the squad bosses have stepped down. I see. And that's when we're going to have to battle Penny. Yeah, got it. Yeah, I think it all makes sense. We've come so far. Only a few steps left. Don't let me down either of you. Cassiopeia's hung up? All right. Thanks to you, Tanner, I've slowly but surely come to understand Team Star. I know what I need to do, and I know what my final decision will be. For that, I can't thank you enough. Take care in that base, Master Tanner. Oh, sorry for getting all polite there. Don't know what came over me. I'm a cool, young, hip dude who's chuggy with it. I'm so chuggy. Look at me. I'm the chuggiest. People look at me and they say, How can one chug exist so chuggly? I will return when it is time for the young master's piano lesson. Plintilen, please give my regards. Yes, Mr. Harrington. Hmm? And who might you be, young man? A friend of the young master, perhaps? Uh, I'm not sure. I see. Since you seem unaware, I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's fairy crew, the Rukbach Squad, led by young master Ortega. Uh, Mr. Harrington, I don't think we're supposed to be giving out that information. No? Then please accept my apologies. Do you have any idea who, uh, as to who this young man might be? He's no friend of ours, you know? I think he might be here to try and take us on. Oh. Understood. In that case, I take it you're an adversary of the young master. I guess... <laughs> some, of these, some of these responses are really good. I mean, I guess that follows. 
if that's so. Well, that leaves me with one last thing to ask you. Huh? Oh, we're gonna battle him? Yeah, would you be so kind as to indulge me in a quick battle? Yes. Splendid, then let us begin. So we're battling... Battling the old man here. Pokemon trainer Harrington. Yo, he's just a Pokemon trainer? Alright. What, um... What effectiveness is, would we have on you? Nothing. Well, let's just cross chop you, or close combat. And then, wow, you're fast, actually. We're in close combat, which will then do... Um, then we can switch to another Pokemon after. Yep, good. And here it comes. Oh, yeah, every time. Yeah, theme of hype, let's go! Okay, Hatterim? Yeah, we can. You know what, let's go with you, because then we can... Because it's fairy, so that we can then, uh, yeah, spin out on it and see how well that is for just, like, not even boosting our stats. Golden Bear! Hatterim. Definitely gonna have a Grim Snarl and a uh, uh, Hatterim. So let's go with um, Spin Out. Only neutral. Huh. Are you very some very psychic? Maybe. Probably. Oh, rain makes this game be like, nope, not happy. Okay, let's go. All right, would poison jab be super effective actually? No, because it's again yeah, psychic psychic fairy, so that covers some some weaknesses there. Go, go ooh, what did Gochilla learn? Crunch. We, didn't we get rid of Crunch? We super did. I'd rather have these moves, so no. We have Harrington. Oh! Well, well. Can you... I was gonna say, can you heal us up, but we don't need that. We'll just heal when we go in. An astounding performance. However, be aware that young Master Ortega's battle prowess far surpasses my paltry skills. You would do well to take care. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ha, ha, so star, old man. That gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy. Oh, I think. At least that's what I heard. Oh, now he's like tutoring the boss or something. He shows up sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubting that you're here to make trouble. So I gotta let everyone know. Hasta la star. It's so ridiculously lame that it wraps around to being kind of fun. No, another Rotato. I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. That base belongs to Team Star's fairy crew, the Rook Boss Squad. Their boss, Ortega, is the mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him, and things will go south for you quickly. He's the real lead from the back type. He gets his grunts to do all the dirty work for him. But his weak point is his short fuse. Get him good and angry, and he'll march up the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just tough it out until Ortega shows up and go from there. Ring the bell in the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Rukba squad right off the map. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Um, I'm just thinking, I think any of our really powerful ones are all weak to fairy. I mean, like, I mean, you're level 50, yeah, but like, you're dragon... Like, you guys are, like, not great. I mean, even, like, we got, like, you, but you're level 65. That's super cool. But you're also ground and dragon, and that's not good for us. Um, yeah. No, we don't really have any. And, like, yeah, like, you're, oh, no, not you, the other one. The other one's very strong, but not good enough. Um, so, I think we're just gonna have to deal with, I think we're just gonna have to deal with this party, you know? Um, change position, you with you, pretty much, right? Because, wait, is, I need to, I need to actually check the effectiveness. 
Pokemon fairy type chart. I actually don't 100% know fairy just yet. Because fairy is the one that I don't 100% know. Okay, so fairy is... So... Okay, so the attacker is... So the attacker is... Wait, hold up. Fairy. Fairy takes double damage from poison and steel. It takes half damage from dark and fighting, and dragon doesn't affect it. Okay. So as long... I mean, dark and fighting... Wait, dark... Oh, wait, no, it's neutral against ghost. Okay. Okay, that's fine then. It's neutral against ghosts, because you're ghost, right? Yeah. Okay, the fighting isn't good, but the ghost is fine. But then again, hmm... Because you'll do... You'll do fine... You'll do... Fine... You'll be really powerful. You know what? I bet you... Hmm... But it's half damage. I think... I think... I think you would still do better. So, you know, let's go with change position. Yeah, just put it here. Because just for the for the level matchup more than anything, you do you need some levels, though. Like, you actually do. More than anyone else to, to even us out. Okay, well, first off. Okay, let's just go... Let's see. I know I have some... Yeah. Oh, wow, that was almost too much. Okay, so we'll go with that. There we go. And, yeah, we're going to just even you up. There we go. HP up on you for some more HP. And, uh, yeah, you should do better now. Okay. Let's do this. Bing, bing. Let's go. Beep. Hurts. Even the small stars can light up the sky when they shine as constellations. You were the last bastion. Losing is an option. Hey, get you listening. Be 30 in 10 minutes. We'll call the boss out. How's that for hospitality? That's... Wow, this is a big open area. Wow, this is quite the different one, huh? I mean, honestly, we could just send out you and you could do most of it, huh? You will do most of it. Okay. Oh, I guess, but it's, it's, it is forcing you to do the others. Okay, never mind. You guys can send out stuff? No, not Gardevoir. Actually, you were good, because the psychic there. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, you did fine. I'm hearing, yeah, stuff spawn. Okay. Alright. You guys are doing okay. Okay. And... Quick heal. I feel like healing should take, like, two minutes off or something. Look at all the Mimikyus. Another Florgis. Okay. Nearly there. I hear stuff spawning somewhere. Oh, game! Oh, the slow down! Oh my god, what's happening? Why is why is it so bad right now? Okay, it's back to normal. Okay. Something just exploded. You gonna fight them, buddy? Should be the one more, right? There we go. Alright. Woo! Our defense are breached up to the boss now. That is very pink and hearty. Wow.
Okay, you kind of got some style going on, buddy. You kind of do. You kind of dripped out. Huh. So you're Tanner. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. Oh, well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Not like you're gonna, I'm gonna lose you anyway. I think fairy types are all about cuteness. You're in for a nasty surprise. Yeah, fairies are historically super evil and terrifying. All right. Yo, and of course the luxury balls. That says a lot about your character, huh? All right, so. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna shift gear right away. I promise I'll play nice, so don't blame me when this battle sends you blubbering back home. We're gonna shift gear, but I'm not gonna use the, the burn. Ooh, actually, this is not the best for us. Um, I'm gonna shift gear, and then we're gonna do, yeah, just some, some non-stat debuffing attacks. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oopsie, did you just realize how unmatched you are? If you want to give up, now is the time. No. No. Let's do, uh... I feel like Poison Jab should do enough. Then again, you're a very bulky Pokemon. No, we're good. Okay. Dash Bun, we're good. Okay. Big bumper. Um, we could do probably another gear shift. Just keep 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 buffing ourselves, right? Mhm. Mm That's a lot more. So a lot more speed, slightly more attack. That's gonna hurt. Did not actually want to do that, but it's fine. It's fine because we can survive whatever he throws out, really. Yeah. Yeah, so now we're going to spend a, a quick turn healing. Just because that will do much of... Oh! And I'm like, wow, we're getting real lucky with the fact it's not giving us the special effect. But then I remembered the Covert Cloak. Ooh, that's a good item. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, here we go. Yeah, because now it's just... Now it doesn't have any effect. That's really good. That's really good. Okay, Poison Jab should definitely do just enough. Are you gonna be our sweeper? Like our real, actual, just super-powered Revivoom of awesomeness? Okay. Now, you're very bulky. You're very bulky, so I'm gonna risk a gunk shot. Nice. Good. Okay. Now here we go, Revivum. Now we're way faster than you. What the heck? Why is my team on ropes? That's totally not fair. You call that a car? I'll show you a car. I don't even know what Misty Field does. What the frick does Misty Field do? What does Misty Field even do? Misty Field. Misty Terrain is a field in Pokemon Reborn. What the frick is Pokemon Reborn? Misty Terrain. Non-damaging fairy type move. Um, Pokemon that are on the ground have dragon type power. It prevents a, a Pokemon being afflicted by non-volatile status conditions. What is a non-volatile status condition? Burn, freeze, paralysis, poison, sleep, frostbite, drowsy. Okay. Um, nature power becomes moonblast, secret power. Natural objects disappear and can be destroyed. What are natural objects? Oh my god, I forgot about the things in the background that, like, the tr when there's a tree in the background, you can hit in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Yeah, that's, that's confusing. Um, okay. Misty Explosion? What is Misty Explosion? Inflicts damage and cause user faint. Oh, wow. Misty Explosion is basically a big nuke. Okay, it's nuking yourself. Um, let's do... Let's try another gunk shot. I'm feeling it. Don't miss. That's a sweep, baby! We do it.
Nice. Oh, you're mad. Why are you so mad? Holy crap. Child. Uh, how can I lose? What the heck? I never lost because daddy's money made me not lose about a year and a half ago. Oh, what the heck? Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you, it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile and I was up all night building it. The problem's clear that we're not giving it enough juice. You designed the thing to be powered by two char cadet, but it's just too heavy. That's such a shame. I wanted to see the looks on our bullies' faces when we got it moving. I'm sorry, I thought it would work. Come, good fellow, tis no occasion for melancholy. Why to make such remarkable contraption by thine own hands? Genius, thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no real point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all the effort would have been zero payout, I'd just ask Mother to buy a car for us. Mother? See, this is why, you, why people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that? What? Mella, cool it, would ya? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we even put this in the code for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems. Or did you forget? That hunk of junk doesn't move. Get it moving. We're short on juice. Just gotta power up the crank up the power somehow. Doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? Yep. <laughs> Every time you walk, I forgot. I forgot. It's so good. It's so funny. I love it. Yep. I'm gonna train up my char cadet and have them evolve. Their boosted firepower will get the Starmobile moving no sweat. But the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh yeah, I'll get it done. Melly, wait! You know, Mella shoots her mouth an awful lot, but she means well. I know. This sucks. This sucks. I hate myself for losing. But I also can't get over how awesome you are in that battle. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down. Going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. Fine. Not like I have a choice anyway, so take the badge already. You better treat it with the respect it deserves. Alright, angsty child. You're kind of a loser, actually. You got drip, but you're kind of a loser. I'm not done yet. Here's my favorite TM. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. Dazzling Gleam? That's a pretty good move. Pretty decent. Just so you know, you're the worst, like the most annoying person ever. But I get it, you're super strong, I'll admit that much. You even busted my Starmobile. Young Master Ortega. Oh, Mr. Harrington. I guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? Oh my god, he has an undercut haircut. Oh, you are the worst. This is a zoomer. I hate him. As it happens, I just lost my boss title, so I'm gonna go, go head on home. Actually, a different matter brought me. There's someone I would like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. The name's Clive. How do you do, fellow Zoomer? Okay, what's your business here? I want to tell you something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company. So why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you've just met. Well, the answer is the same as everyone else on the team. It's because I was being bullied. So the Academy really did used to have an issue with bullying. Who would guess, right? School's all rainbow and butterflies these days. Butter what? You mean Butterfreeze, right, buddy? It's up there with how getting chicken skin. And the bullies from back then don't even go to the academy anymore. Why? What happened to them? As the former director of the academy, I believe I'm best positioned to answer that question. Mr. Harrington. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them, and an altercation broke up between the groups. Though it did not escalate into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of hitherto unknown proportions. As a result of what happened that uh, what occurred that day, the students who had perpetrated the bullying dropped out of the academy one after another. But there aren't any records of that anywhere. Oh, is that why there was the ripped out pages? No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all the records of the incident, you see. What why would you do that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with the team star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to see me. The student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate the students of Team Star from any blame. Huh? No one told me that. I accepted the request and agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I sent 18 months of overseas studies to students who took responsibility for- Oh, so they got a paid vacation. Very cool. A year and a half studying abroad. That was not the intended punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims, after all. I wanted the students to- 
Take some time to rest, so I had them return home to the Galar region. Is this going to be one... It, is this going to be one of these things where you can go back to Pokemon Sword and Shield and there's a bunch of characters that are like, I'm a student here on Overseas Study. I'm Googling it right now. Pokemon Galar Overseas Study. Um, okay, there's nothing there for it, so maybe not. Maybe not at all. Around that time, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all trace of the incident with the academy servers. It appears his intent was to shield blame from shield himself from any blame. He tried to cover up the whole thing. That's terrible. After we discovered what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. But the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handing in their notices. Oh, wow. Hi, I'm a teacher. This hits kind of hard. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. And my sincere apologies. Hang on, Mr. Harrington. How come you suddenly decide to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega, a team star, cannot carry on in its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. Well, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends going to school without them. Not after we come this far. Your friends in Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's because they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. Cool. He's kind of a he's kind of a punk. I think he's the worst of the Team Star members. Just don't got much going on. Plus, he's rich, and I want to eat the one percent. Wrote oh. Here we go. Tanner, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim Ortega's star badge? Yeah. With his boss no longer around, the Rookbach squad is as good as finished. So, Ortega was the last. Yeah, because he was the most difficult. All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. I'd love to see someone do reverse, like reverse gym order, reverse everything order for a playthrough. Like one of those weird challenge runs. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before long now that they've lost their special positions. After that, they should be uh, soon be back attending class at the Academy. Hello there, fellow youngster. It's me again. Nice work out there, Tanner. Is that Clive I hear? Cassiopeia, well done to you too. Thanks. Now about your reward, Tanner, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Nice. Two thousand. More TMs. Oh, that reminds me. I'm doing the whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? Indeed, you can go ahead and give Tanner's bonus reward now. Why is that? At long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final phase stage. There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. Where's the big boss? Don't worry, there's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss is none other than me. Let's act surprised, everyone. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it for you for so long, but the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star. Back then, the members of the team were my closest friends, and I treasured them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give it up, so I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Tanner, I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. Understood. Then I'll see you both there. So, like, can we quest forward in time? Well, I guess we could take classes, because I forgot we had the classes to do, too. So Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time. I scarcely thought it possible, but with this revelation, I might just have an inkling as to their true identity. I mean, I, I'm almost 100%... I'm almost 100% certain. I see people find our answers after school, after dark, in the Academy schoolyard. Let's best prepare as we can before heading over. Okay. Poor though. It's all around here. What's all this, then? Some challenges that we don't gotta do. See, my dude just swept, though. That's pretty fun. What do we got down here? What's, what's here? Sylveon, huh? Of 50 special Sylveon. Sunflora. In the wild. What else? We got a dragon type down here. Awesome oh, Skrelps! 
Oh, those Skrelpy Phelps. Oh, this is actually the back of the mountain, huh? Pollen Puff. Whoa, that's a move I don't remember. Dragon Ursa Ring, that's kind of neat. It's a shame it won't be able to evolve, though, so... Some lo lo low kikes? What would be the plural of low kicks? It'd be, ouch, stop kicking me, bro. Oh, there's something. Is it in the water? What is that? What the heck is that? Oh, it's a... How come Shelter is always, like, the one that I look at? I'm like, yo, what the heck is that? It's because how often do you see Shelter, man? Okay, so what do we got here? There goes a goat! No, Yamaro! Okay, we're good. Uh, so yeah, this is just going around here. Not really much to really see. Um, okay. In that case... So you're there. You're there, someone. Mysterious person that they are. Uh, so let's go to the academy. Yeah. And before we go to nighttime for that, well, well, it might actually force us to immediately get into battle. We'll see. My controller did just vibrate for some reason. Why did it vibrate? What was up with that? I don't know why. Very strange. Oh, he's gonna say, let's wait till nighttime, buddy pal. Okay, so we'll go with you. We'll go with you to be our sweeper for now. Okay. I was gonna do the classes, but that's fine. Sup, Tanner? Clive? I'm keeping it up. Yep, that's my name. Actually, no. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true. Okay, but listen up. Imagine if Clive pulls it off and it's a mask and it's actually been Penny this whole time. Ha ha! Oh my god, he just yakuza Could you imagine? I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. So Clavel is like the best, right? A character that we saw that we're like, you're just going to be the boring principal character who's probably the villain when we first saw him. And they just completely subverted that. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than director of Naranja Academy, Mr. Clavel. I already knew that. But my blind disguise was perfect. I don't know how I think about it. I did neglect to keep up my youthful act on a few occasions. That must have been what gave me away. I didn't say Chugi even once. Regardless, there's still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Cassiope, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along? That's literally impossible. Honest to goodness. When you had Cassiope on the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded message. I pulled off using, you know, those high-tech gizmos. Oh, yes, it was very clever. So, Master Tanner, now I know I'm the big boss. That means there's one little enough to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. Oh my god, we're actually fighting you. Man, Director Clavel's kind of the best. Right? Anyways, that's a bad... Ooh, actually, it's not that not that bad for you. Also, we get a unique theme. I'm Cassie, hope we have Team Star with this battle. I'll finally bring Operation Starfall to an end. Um, yeah, that's not the best, actually. So we'll just... Ooh, level 60's on you, huh? We're just cross chop to start. Okay. Ooh, foul... Ooh... Okay, that actually didn't do too much. No, dang it! Uh-oh. Well, we're definitely gonna have to switch out after this, so let's just use... Let's just use close combat and switch it out. Are you a psychic-type trainer? I don't know. Okay, yeah, we're going to then switch you out here. It's kind of a unique theme. Okay. Oh, you fell asleep anyways. Uh, Poltygeist? I, I mean, you're still, you're probably, oh no, we'll go with, we'll go with foul play on you. Oh, cause he's like an old British man, so of course he has tea. That just makes sense. I'll say, I think that the selection of Pokemon that they have is really good. 
like, you know, when when they can only pick s however many, it becomes... Ooh, good. Uh, I mean, you're going to die in the next hit anyways. When they have a selection they have to choose from, it's kind of like, you know, you got, you got some when you're like, ah, I don't know. But there's a good selection. There's a bunch that I'm just like... Ones I wouldn't expect, ones that are pretty exciting to find in the wild. I think I think it's a better selection than what um, uh, what Sword and Shield had for sure. I mean, of course, it's not perfect, right? It's it's not because it'll never be. You'll never get them all, um, just because of how they are nowadays. But I don't mind that. I don't mind the fact that it's because you're not gonna get them all in one place anyways. Like, pretty much. Okay, so boy, you're a big fan of status ailments, huh? Obama! Okay, we'll go with you. So we're gonna also have to battle Penny after, or will Penny just be like, yeah, I don't I don't battle much, so I I won't be your opponent. Obama. And the students are like, oh frick, what? Why is it so cold? Um let's just go flamethrower. Cause he's probably he's physical based usually, right? Yeah. Four times weakness. Okay, Gyarados. Um, actually, we can do Thunderfang with you. Okay. All right. Get actually see you in action. Plus, the snow is good for you. Uh oh, that's not great. Oh my goodness, he's actually like looking up. That's cool. Yeah, Thunderfang. Uh oh. Ouchie mama. How do you bite with your tail, bro? Okay. There's a chance that it misses and we kill. That chance did not occur today. Okay. Alright, so in that case... Um... I mean, we... Hmm... I might just flip turn with you just to use it right now. Actually, you know what? You'll, you'll, you'll definitely tank a hit, so let's instead... We have tons of full restores right now. Let's go with full restore. And then we'll tank the hit, because nothing you do will be more powerful. And then we'll flip turn out of here. Yeah. Actually, that did... That did a surprising amount, actually. So that's flip turn. Oh, wow, okay. That move does not always go first like I kind of expected. Got it. I It kind of felt like it, it felt like it did, but I guess you're just very fast. Snow stopped. Okay. Okay, so we'll probably let you perish. And we'll bring out Gochilla again to do another, another one. These are tough battles. These feel like Elite Four. Right? Like, I'm actually kind of sweating in some of these. See, so yeah, we'll do this, and then we'll get Thunderfang again. As long as you survive another Stone Edge or Earthquake, you're not surviving Earthquake. What am I saying? Yeah, that's not happening. Okay. So we're going to need to... You know what? Nothing it has is going to be super effective against you unless it has a Dark-type move. So we'll go with this. So for now, actually, you know what? Let's just uh, Rage Fist. Good. Okay, because that is pretty powerful. Okay. <gasps> Amoongus. Uh, for that, we do have you. Child, child. Thank you. All right. Amoongus. Uh, so... I'm not going to terrestrialize. Let's just do a uh, strong flamethrower. Okay, good. Doesn't it still have a mo special move that it's going to learn? I think it does. I think there's still another move that this guy has his special move that he's going to get later. Skeledurge. Oh, I know who that is. Oh, frick, why are you dead? Um, well, we have Stomping Tantrum. 
Skeleter. I don't actually know it's... It's typing. Is it dark? Or is it ghost? It might be ghost. The thing that I, Cassiope, will be back into a corner like this. Is it fire ghost? That's the... Yeah, this is the final form of the croc. It's a cool one. Alright, I'm just googling it. Skelly Dirge. What type are you? Fire Ghost. Yeah. Well, that's bad for you, buddy. That's real bad. When my Rage Fist gets going. Very well. It seems I'll have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. Well, wait, Frick. Are you gonna... Are you gonna ghost it up more, or are you gonna give it something else? Let's see here. I forgot that you could do this, too. Ghost, big ghost. Big fire. Well, that's bad because he lost the weakness. We're going to get hit, but then the stomping tantrum should do some good damage. Yeah, good. Shadow Ball, that's going to hurt a bit. Yep. But we're faster, and now stomping tantrum will deal good damage, and you might... Dot. Ooh, no. Okay. Shadow Ball, that's gonna hurt. Okay. So, yeah, we just need one more hit. So, let's go with, uh... Just go with you, because you can tank something here. I doubt it has any coverage for, for fire on its own. Uh, so, let's just do Psychic here. Ooh, actually, that might hurt. What am I saying? gonna hang on for me thank you thank you for single player strats there we go that's a pretty cool pokemon actually i like it nice also wait is this another fire i mean is this another ghost um psychic dark wait ghost it's Ghost, Psychic, and Fighting. Is that the trio? Because Fighting is super effective against... Oh, wait. No, it's not the trio. Because Psychic is super effective against Fighting. Fighting doesn't affect Ghost and Ghost... Oh, wow, okay. How strong you have grown. Oh, wait, no, Dark. Dark is super effective against Ghost. Ghost is not... Yeah, no, never mind. Okay. Huh. Well now, Master Tanner, it seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia. Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden. But I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. And that is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could uh, w could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenged you to a battle to test your skill. If you had lost, it would have been fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve. But it turns out you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task. But please, defeat Cassiopeia. Take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Leave it to me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I leave this in your hands. You there, what do you think you're doing? Ah, Miss Time. Oh my god, Time and Rhyme, shut up. Pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Clavel. I came here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself, facing off against one of our students, no less. What were you thinking? Uh, no, you see, I can explain. You see, it is a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me. Your excuses reek worse than a stunkies behind. A stunkies behind? <clears throat> Remember, the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. I'm counting on you, Master Tanner. You'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once, and I'll re be reporting this. Oh, my God. These words send chills down my spine. <sighs> Good gracious, anything but that I employ. Oh, that's too real. Oh, oh, I got shivers. 
Oh no, that's not good. Oh my god. Oh. That's terrible. I wouldn't put that on anyone. Are, are Pokemon, like, dying? No, they're healed again. Good. So, um, we got a few more events that we can do right now. Oh my god, we can go see him again. We can go be like, hey, how's it going, Button? He'll be like, I'm not Chugi right now at all. In fact, I want to die. Thank you for the visit, Master Tanner. A good friend of mine has been telling me of your recent exploits. You mean... Clive? I'll leave their identity to your imagination, but... Now, lest I forget, there's another matter I'd very much like your opinion on. Do you know what manner of gentleman's hairstyle is considered cool, as it were, among the youth these days? Two short styles... What is a two-block cut? What is it? What? What is a two block cut? Am I just? I don't pay attention to hair. Oh, it's it's the it's the anime undercut. Bull cuts long. Uh, yeah, giant pompadours as always. Oh, pompadours! You say? I expected as much. I don't seem to recall much of the academy's male students sporting such a style. Could it be that the pompadour has already had its day in the sun? Perhaps I ought to consider a change of wig. Oh, we were supposed to come here before. Ah, that is to say, never mind. Thank you for your insight, Master Tanner. It was most enlightening. Pompadours never go out of style, buddy. Don't worry. Uh, it's, 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 they're still cool. Don't worry. Um, let's go check out Miriam. You're great. Miriam's great. What's up? Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. Oh, Tanner, I'm glad you're here. I have some good news. You're not going to believe this, but I passed the health teacher certification exam. Oh, congrats. Thank you so much. I saw you pushing yourself real hard with your treasure, and that really inspired me. Of course, most of the credit for my success goes to my own hard work, though. <laughs> Thanks for giving me the push I need to try again, Tanner. Wow, thank you. But they tell me there's no room to add new classes this year. So I guess I'll keep being Nurse Miriam for a bit. Just you wait, though. I'll be standing in front of a class at this academy before you know it. Then I'll teach you all you need to know about health. It's like... No, don't worry. I'm good. I have the internet. I bet I'll make a great teacher. Can't wait to see you in my class. Formed a close bond... Now she'll die for me. Great. Uh, close bond is I'm assuming you've finished their uh, their stuff. That makes sense. So we gotta wait till night. So let's do a few classes, which will hopefully tide us over until nighttime. All right. So uh, let's let's just focus on the ones that I really want to do. So first off, history. History is very important. History with Miss Rifort, yes. Yeah, history is, like, utmost importance still. It's just the one that actually seems to affect the plot. Greetings, my little students. Whoever did yesterday is now part of history. Today is our last class, so I would like to unravel the marvels that history has presented to us one last time. In our last class, I taught you about the Area Zero expedition of 200 years ago, correct? Alas, 200 years is not that long ago. Not that long at all. How unfortunate that our history lessons must march so inexorably toward the future. Hey, isn't that the word that I died using earlier today? Inexorably? Wow. Would it not be more of an adventure to march towards the past instead? To start from our present and study history in reverse? I think it would. So you agree with me, do you, Tanner? However, I'm afraid I risk incurring the wrath of our dear director if I stray from the curriculum. Oh god, this is too real. I suppose I have no choice but to let the flow of time carry us toward the future. In this last class of ours, I shall fill your heads with the history of the terrestrial phenomenon. The technology behind terror orbs has its origin in Area Zero. Okay. 
Even after the Area Zero expedition supposedly reached the crater's deepest depths, others continued to explore the area, and around 140 years ago, Pokémon cloaked in mysterious light were discovered there. As you may have suggested, these were in fact terrestrialized Pokémon. However, when these, uh, those who discovered these Pokémon brought them out of Area Zero, the light faded and terrestrial phenomenon remained a mystery for quite some time. However, ten years ago, oh, that might as well be present day, a certain someone you have definitely heard of unraveled this mystery. Who? Wasn't even famous professor who unraveled the terrestrial Was that professor... Was that... Was that Sada? Oh, correct. To think you, a new transfer to our academy, could correctly answer this question. You must be very diligent in your studies. Approximately 10 years ago, a professor named Sada unraveled the mysteries of the terrestrial phenomenon. She discovered that the Chris shining crystals uh, down in Area Zero, or rather the energy they emit, is what causes people to terrestrialize. This led to the professor inventing Terra Orb technology and to develop a practical use for it. This technology was then shared with both the Pokemon League and our academy. Rumor has it that Director Clavel was one of the professor's researchers. Oh, one of the researchers on the professor's team. Interesting. Okay. Alas, the story is much less exciting now that someone we all know appears in it. Modern history is truly as dull, isn't it? This ends our history classes. Our next session will be the final exam. Bring the wonders of history to the forefront of your minds in preparation. I will. I'm starting to feel like Sada might be like the villain. I'm starting to feel I am. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe I'm just... Maybe this is a Pokemon game without a villain. That's entirely possible. But to have the professor be the villain would be super cool. Greetings, my little students. It's time for our final examination. Summon on your historical knowledge with the Dark Reasons Your Mind to answer the questions. So, what is the area? It's called Area Zero. How many years ago? 805. Which of these do not appear in the Pollyan Fairy Tale? I don't think it was a fan. No, was, I don't remember there being a vessel. Uh, that was Heath. Ten years ago. I think we got four. We definitely got four. You must excuse the last question. It's too shallow and ridiculous to be on a history test, but alas, the director forced me to include it. So ends our final examination. You may ask for your scores at the school's, hist at the school's front desk. Yeah, I think we got. We might have got four. I don't remember if there was a vessel or a fan. It was one of those. Fan strikes me as it actually was there, though. We'll see. Oh, and it's night. We did four... Four to five. Sounds good. Let's pass. Five EXP candy mediums. Keep doing your best. So it's nighttime still. Oh, and she's here. Good, 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 good. Ma'am? 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 Tanner, the time has come. The cursed treasures. What? The four Pokemon of Ruin. What? Oh, are these the stakes? They exist. And I stumbled upon the truth in the newspaper of all places. <laughs> in an interview piece with a carpenter, no less. The Pokemon wielders apparently use sacred stakes to shield seal these treasures of Ruin and uh, Shrine in Ruin. There's a separate shrine for each of the four Pokemon and eight stakes driven into the ground in areas surrounding each shrine to keep the power of the Ruin at bay. Cool. Yeah, we already got two of those. In other words, if all these stakes for a given shrine were to be removed, it would release the Pokémon held inside. Don't you think it would be nice to free those Pokémon from the confines of the tiny little shrines, Tanner? Yes. Give me legendaries. A kind soul, I see you are proving truly useful. According to a descendant of the Pokémon wielders of the story, you must have a bond with Pokémon in order to remove the stakes. I'm sure someone as Pokémon savvy as yourself would have no trouble at all with that. You can choose for yourself whether to believe me or not, but I'll mark locations of these shrines on your map. Sure. Okay. I'd rather go myself, of course, but skipping out on my classical adventuring seems to have made the director a little suspicious of me. Why are you touching your ring when you do that? You can think of it as part of your treasure hunt. Treasures of ruins are still treasures, after all. I hope you'll investigate these shrines if you're inclined to do so. Uh, so... So wait, but did that get... Oh, that's just my order. It's like, what was that? Okay, so here's a shrine. The Grass Wither Shrine. 
And then we got... Oh, the Fire Scourge Shrine. Okay, so they're not too far from, like, kind of each other. Um... Ground Blight Shrine. I think the ones we found were here. Ice Ren Shrine, huh? So we have to find... So you know what? Let's... Can we fly from in here? Okay, dang. Hmm. 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 Well, it's night. We'll go do our thing here first. Okay. So yeah, we'll, we'll that that was that was good that we did that one. Um, you need some. Okay. All right. So let's go to the schoolyard at night. Here we go. There we go. Act surprised. Tanner. Oh my god, you're really hiding with the hoodie? Thanks for coming. Surprise! It's the loner. She's smug. This must be quite a shock for you. Oh wait, you're acting- wait, are you actually putting on a smug act? The big boss, Cassiopeia, they were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get a hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit, and I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But there's still a part of me that just wants Team Star to live on. And I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. It's the final showdown, you ready? Yeah. Thanks. Hello, it's me, Clive. Sorry to keep you. The letter of apology missed time had me... I mean, uh, preparations took me longer than expected. That voice, are you Clive? Penny. So it was you after... Uh, no, I mean, is that you, Cassiopeia? In the flesh. I have a task for you, Clive, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star... They need to see the outcome of the battle for themselves. Okay, will do. I really, really hope he films the whole thing accidentally in selfie mode. That would be so freaking funny. Oh, but I guess if there's a rod in there, it's do, it, do it itself. Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No, Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. Or something. I'm not used to you having a smug smile. Sorry, what is this wub step? It's kind of sick, though. Yo! I won't hold back in the battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. Yo, this, this theme is going way harder than I expected. So we're just going to go all in. Yeah, as much as we can. So, stat down so that we'll have to do constant switches, but that's fine. Okay. Yo, flip. Oh, or oh, I see what we're doing. Okay. Okay, I see what we're doing. I see what we're doing. Yo, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes. Let's go. Someone, someone at Game Freak was like, yo, I kind of started getting into EDM lately, and we're like, yo, let's go? Maybe doll eyes, that's fine. We're going to be switching out of here anyways. Wow, that did a lot of damage regardless. Oh, because it was a crit. Yo, this song. Yo, I'm bopping in my seat. You probably can't even tell. Which is for the best. We'll just finish you off with the Dragon Pulse here. It almost has Sailor Moon vibes in its in that part there, the little ding ding dings. Oh my god. How does this game have such good music? How is it so good? Straight up para para. A 
Uh, Vaporeon. Yeah, so for, for Vaporeon... So... Oh! Because she has the Eevee backpack. Duh. How did I miss that? Like, no duh. Of course. So the question is, which one won't she have? Because she can't have them all. So are you just not going to attack us? Is that the thing? Oh my god, this song is so good. Maybe if you're one of those people who's like, uh, I don't listen to electronic music. I, I prefer my acoustic guitars. It's like, yeah, then maybe you won't like it, but sorry, you can't be me. Give me freaking Wubstep Electronica any day. I was literally, I took a shower today. I know, crazy, right? But in doing so, I was like, what if I like just put my phone on music shuffle and take a shower? And like, just cause I like, I, I always, I like to listen to music in the shower, but like I didn't have, you were just not attacking me, huh? Is that, is that what we're doing? Okay. Um, like, so it was like, you know, I like to listen to music in the shower, don't have a shower speaker, and I thought I'll just use my phone. So I'd go to YouTube music, I'd shuffle, and wasn't I taking my shower to like, beep, beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, 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 and like, just rocking out, right? No one could stop me. It was great. I loved it. What a fun time showering to like 90s electronica dance music, right? Alright, so you're just gonna baby doll eyes again, huh? No, you're actually attacking, okay. I was gonna say, if we're just doing this over and over, like that's silly. Now, if this fails, then the next time we'll be more powerful. Okay, we're good. Dang. That's 100%. A cringe on your behalf. So let's see, Arena at Sylveon. Yep. Okay, now I feel like Sylveon, she's gonna Terrasilize, though. Into what? I'm not sure. She might stick to Fairy, or she might go Dark. I don't know. We'll have to see here. As such, I might shift gear first. I can't fault you on your battle skills at all. No wonder the bosses fell at your hands. Now, what type are you... Are you gonna make it normal, maybe? I could see you're making it normal. Let's go sh shift gear, yeah. Yeah, what are you doing? Time to terrestrialize. Shine bright like the starry sky and become who you really want to be. And then she's going to make it be like the fairy. And it's going to be like, yeah, you want to be what you are. What freaking type is that? What? What type is that? Sorry, what? What type is that? Am I crazy or do I just not know what that is? That's not... Is that fairy? It must be fairy. So my joke was super real. Okay, spin out. Let's go. Also, you're like way faster still? Okay. So we don't need to worry about this lowering our speed. I guess that's fairy. Have I just not seen what the fairy type one is? Yeah, I guess so, because for some reason in my head, when, when I said fairy, I imagined it being the bug antenna, but that's something else. So literally, yeah, just become yourself, which is ironic. Maybe whatever one you did last would be what would it would be. Oh. Hmm. It's all over now. I want to be like, so, did you mean to use baby doll eyes over and over? It's like, no. It's finally over, guys. It's done. I just connected Cassiopeia and Star. Come on. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold on. You're, are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star, and everything's gotten out of hand. 
Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of him learning, make a show of learning him some manners. We didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, merely did we declare our intention of battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyrannous oppression. Twas a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down. They all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. <laughs> she would say epically. She would. She would. There's no way they're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. A little stunt might have put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I, des I dragged you all into this. I'll take responsibility for everything. Uh, oh, noble and kind big boss. You cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you should start to going to school again. Oh yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut up in your room anymore. All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person. You were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB! Okay, this is intentional for Metal Gear stuff. Why are you talking about, like, we'll never speak again? I need to go, go take care of some things. Prithee, speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, Big Boss, answer us. Oh, she was right there. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Hmm. Thanks for everything, Tanner. And you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star. And me too. Uh, hold that thought, Miss uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? Why well, resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the other bosses that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them to do stuff, but I could never order them. It goes back to the code again. The bosses must take it very seriously. They did. That's why I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the bosses would do anything the code required of them. Even leave the team? Yes. According to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. That's the idea for Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star... No. What do your friends and the team mean to you? They're my precious treasures. Yeah, they're my greatest treasure. Splendid. Thank you for apprising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit with the old geezer act cl Oh my god, wait, do you not? You're creeping me out. Indeed, well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Haha, <laughs> oh my god, it's actually surprising her. Director Clavel! Just as Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy you know as Clive was mine! But, but why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy away from speaking their mind to teachers, after all, much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. Um, well, that's quite enough for that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Are we going to get a big old group hug? Huh? Yo, boss. Big boss. Long time no see. Momo. Momo. Momo? More like long time no meet, right? I only just found out your real name just now. Melly. Verily is thy long hidden countenance a sight for sore eyes, milady. I want to be like, I don't even know what you just said. Atticus. So, am um, I heard your real name's Penny? Uh, how have you been this whole time? Oh, you're blushing. Ordy. 
We found you at last. You have no idea how worried we've been. Harry. Big group hug? I want her to do a big group hug, and I want I want Melly to have to do her dumb kicks. Hasta la vista, Cassiopeia, and hello, Penny. Okay, that was kind of lame, but cute also. Please. Please, Mella, take some steps. I need to see it. I need to see your stupid steps. Come on, please. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of the you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. Hey, shoutouts to seeing adults apologize. Shoutouts to, like, adults apologizing to students. That's a huge thing that I really stand for. Far too often you have this idea that you should never apologize to children, and it just sets them up with these expectations that adults are always in the right. Of course they're going to come to hate adults in that case. It's so important for adults to say, like, Yo, I screwed up. And I think this is, it's great that this game is showing that. Come again? As a director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I still don't... I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director, all I've ever experienced in the Academy is an environment blessedly free from bullying. But now I know that this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course, your immense courage in putting things to right. And so I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband, and my threat to those to expel those who did not obey, are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed. Team Star can continue to exist should that be your wish. Oh, Penny, isn't that great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, mine heart is giddy with glee! But I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us all about it. Far as we know, you only went through with it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we'd ever chuck the team just because someone told us to, after all. Ain't our style. I cannot even begin to imagine how you have feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But even so... Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are some more unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. You protra your protracted truancy, your brazen customization of school uniforms, your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modification and jeopardous driving of Pokemon-powered vehicles. Need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for school rules simply cannot be overlooked. Oh... Thus, as punishment, you will all be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes. Specifically, I will you'll, I will be asking you to manage the SCTs. Isn't that what happens when you have sex unprotected? And that stands for... The Star Training Centers. Oh my god, what? Whoa! My dude, that's cool. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. Uh, this idea came to me when I saw Master Tanner battling his way through your bases. The base construction, as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star, are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as SCT staff members, using your former bases as training facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Yo, Director Clavel's a... what a G. Um, no? It sounds like fun, so I don't see how this be anything but a win-win. Uh, this may be weird to say, since the SCT is supposed to be punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true. We would most happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can go to school together too, that way if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We already talked about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This would be a sweet deal for us. So what do you say? You guys? Tanner, what do you think? I think it sounds great. Huh, but I just... No need to give a response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. For now, at least, I think our little group shall go their separate ways. 
Not to say you should break up Team Star after all. Uh, not to say you shouldn't break up Team Star after all. It simply means it's time to leave. Master Tanner, please stop by my office later if you would. Are you gonna give me, like, a Master Ball? That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of neat. Oh, that's a scary prompt. Are my pogies dying? Are they- are they currently- No, we're good. Uh, oh. Wait, you have a new thing? Really? Okay. What do we have with you now? Yeah, we'll go to the director's office after, but if you have another new one, let's go do that. What's up? Oh, that's just saying- th okay, that's probably just saying that we have the other ones to go with you, okay. Uh, director's office. Yeah, it's probably just saying, like, yeah, you do have those ones that you still have to do for her, because it's like a mission. Hey, director. Ah, here you are, Master Tanner. I wanted to thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Uh, hello? Who is it? Um, it's Penny. Ah, Miss Penny, do come in. H hello Director. About the SCTs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But, um, I, I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? Not because of that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. And what would that be? Um, you know the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall? I got it sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. Wow! Actual crimes! I see, that is ooh, quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even- Oh, he's gonna turn this into, well, hey, a good example of cybersecurity. It wasn't all that hard- I mean, <clears throat> I'm really sorry and I won't do it again. Well, this matter is out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I will have to consult with Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how best to proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Master Tanner, but I will ask you to give us some privacy. Uh, they should just turn it into a, hey, that was a- wait, oh, really? Okay. Huh. Can I go back now? No? Okay. Um, we'll see. Are we good? Oh. Okay, so just solving that. Wow, okay, that just kind of ended, huh? Um. Yeah, they should turn it into like, oh, you found vulnerabilities. We're gonna hire you as our security expert. That's a thing that happens, right? Okay, let's head on outside. Just to reset our uh, our icon on our map, hopefully. And bid you all. Oh, never mind. Uh, Tanner, Penny, uh, there's something I want to talk to you about. Could you come meet me in front of the school stairs? You know where we first met. I'll be waiting. <gasps> is she gonna confess her love for me? Is she gonna be like, I've always had a big crush on you because you're so strong in pokey battles? Probably not. Are you gonna battle me again? Hopefully not. How can oh, that's a that's a thumbnail shot. Hi, Penny. Hasta la vista. The six of us thought of that catchphrase back when we created the team. It's so cringy. It's perfect, you know. Oh my God! Look at her stance. That's too real. Her saying cringy. And standing like that? Also? Wow. We joked about her being... Saying cringe, but that's real. Anyway, about the LP thing. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing right now, actually. I thought I was going down big time for hacking the leak point system, but they're letting me off easy. What happened? Pokemon Lead says they'll waive my debt if I do some volunteer- Yeah, there you go! What I said! They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe it. Look at that! The idea of like, oh, you hacked our system? Cool. Can we hire you? Just, just, here's the thing. In real life, um, don't do that without giving a warning. You will get in trouble. 
don't do that without there's some companies that say like yeah we'll like do it for us do whatever you want you know and if you find stuff we'll pay you uh, but there's others that don't do that director clavelin that gita lady kept complimenting me like a weird amount apparently i have outstanding talent or something sorry for calling you out here to meet like this i'm still not so great with people face to face i never seem to find the right words but i'm Thank you so much. You saved Team Star and my friends along with it. I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all you've, uh, you've done, so here. Yo, Draco Meter, nice. 169? That's a lot. I'm sure you'll put this to good use. And one more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. So next time, I'll be the one helping you, Tanner. It's the fact that she actually has a custom walk cycle where her head's down like a nerd. That's incredible. Be seeing you then. Hasta la vista. Of course, she doesn't do it, and she runs normally. That's a kind of beautiful shot, too. Done. That's two of them done. And all that's left is the... Pokemon League, huh? Well, what's next? N next time is we have some more classes to do, so we'll be finishing up classes next time. And uh, then from that, head on to the Pokemon League. As for the stakes, if there are 36 of them to do, like I've been told, um, that might not be fun. So I might, I might end up just doing them off camera. We'll see how they go. We'll see if there's a good map, and if, if they're easy enough to do, and they're, if they're close to each other, we'll just do it that way, but, uh, but we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time for some more. Let's play Pokemon Scarlet. Ciao.